Newfangled Audio has just released an update to their Elevate Bundle 1.5, and it includes two new plugins. In addition to Elevate and Equivocate, it now includes Punctuate, which we're looking at in front of us, and Saturate. In this video, we're going to look at each of them in use on some drums and guitars, and click on the link below in the description to get my verdict on this and read more about the full update. So Punctuate is based on the transient emphasis section of the Elevate Mastering Limiter, and it's a multi-band transient modulator, and it supports up to 26 individual bands. In this particular preset, we can see here that we're only using 13 of the bands. We set them there. And it works on 1 to 26 bands based either on the MEL curve, which is the defining element of how these plugins work based on the natural curve in human hearing, or we can customize the curve by dragging the frequency bands. Now, when we click on the transient section here, you'll see a couple of new controls. So we have transient emphasis, which we already know from Elevate, and this sets the amount of emphasis or suppression in each band based on where this is set at. And we have adaptive transient, which again, we know and love from Elevate, and it sets how much punctuate is allowed to adapt each band's modulation in relation to the other bands. So in other words, the higher this is, the more it's acting uniquely on each band, and the lower it is, the more it's acting on all of them together. And these two are new. Transient length allows you to set the length of what punctuate considers to be a transient. So we can set it very short where it recognizes only the beginning of each attack and that's all that's modulated. But when we set it to the longer values, more of the attack sound is captured in the modulation. And adaptive length is also new. It allows each of the punctuate bands to adapt its own length to the signal. So what that means is the lower bands will have longer lengths and they'll react more slowly and the higher bands will have shorter lengths and react more quickly. And the more we dial this up, the more we're going to get those differences, and the lower it is, the more it reacts equally on all the bands. So let's listen to this on some drums. I'm going to start with it bypassed. We click this to enable it or disable it, and we have a mix knob here for parallel processing. So it's really adding a nice sharp attack to the snare and the kick. I think I would just dial some of it in for this particular preset. That's plenty. I'll dial it up. We're getting a sharper kind of response when it's treating all the lengths differently. Now, let's look at another preset that I've saved here on my own. And this one I'm using the suppression on some of the lower frequencies. So even though this is set to emphasize, it's acting in an inverse way on these particular bands. Let's start with it off. So it's tightening the kick drum up nicely. And let's listen to it on a section with some ride cymbal. I'm going to go back to the other preset I was using. So here we can emphasize the ride by dialing up the length. And I can focus just on the attack. And let's bring in Saturate. So this is also based on the module from Elevate, and it overdrives the signal and controls the shape of the clipping that occurs when we push the drive up. So it's a really simple interface here. The shape parameter changes the shape of the gain curve as we drive this up. So let's start with it off. So I can bring this up higher and get some more distortion and harmonics added in. versus a softer kind of clipping and shaping. So I find with this a little goes a long way. And we can compensate here if we want to match the gains. So 
So it's a really great simple way to saturate and drive your signal. Here I've got this on a couple of electric guitars. You can really see it adding a nice percussive quality to it. And I'm putting saturate on after it with a fair bit of drive and distortion shaping to shape the harmonics. And I've got a bit of gain compensation going on here. So I'll start with it off. So this is Eli Kranzberg signing out. Don't forget to click on the link below to learn more about this update. And I'll see you for more next time.